Much will be required of the person entrusted with much, and still more will be demanded of the person entrusted with more. Now when we hear this this saying, we might think first in terms of, of leadership in our church. Some have been ordained for leadership in the church. They have been entrusted with more, and so more is demanded of them. And yes, the ordained leaders of the church bear a great burden because they have been given great authority. We can think of what St. Augustine once said. He said, for you, I am a bishop. With you, I am a Christian. The first thing is a danger to me, but the second is my salvation. But we cannot forget the first part of the saying, namely that much will be required of the person entrusted with much. This includes every single baptized person without exception. We have been entrusted with so very much. We have been given the great faith, the great gift of faith in Jesus Christ. And this is not only a gift to be treasured and cultivated and nurtured, above all, it is a gift to be re-gifted, a gift to be shared. Because Jesus has entrusted us with a great commission, which belongs not only to the ordained leaders, but to every single person who claims the identity of Christian. It applies to us all. The mission of the church belongs to you and me both. This is what this word new evangelization is all about. The mission of the church is not only the task, the responsibility of the professionals, father, sister, popes, bishops, whomever. No, it belongs to everyone. In fact, Pope St. John Paul II said, the future of the church is largely in the hands of the laity. This is our time. This is your time to re-gift what we have been given. This is the time not only for disciples who treasure their faith, but missionaries who share their faith. And so we take the words of the Lord seriously today, and we all take on the responsibility of guarding and sharing what we've been given.